Here is an interesting question. What is a custom builder? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, it is a company that makes things, usually vehicles, according to what a particular buyer wants. I think for most people, this sounds right. But at the same time, it also means a very limited production, of custom builds. Is it not? Well, there is one custom builder in this world, who challenged this conclusion. You won't believe the number of bikes, that he already built. Because it is beyond what anyone can imagine. And this BMW, is his statement, to remember a very remarkable feat. Welcome to Racer TV. If you are a fan of BMW's R series, I am sure most of you will love this one. And even those who don't care much about this airhead machine, I bet some of them will appreciate the beautiful lines of this stunning project. Especially the rear suspension. This man is the author of the project. Marcus Waltz, the founder of Waltz Work Motorcycles, located in Germany. You probably remember him from these two projects I presented in the past. If you don't, I am sure you will never forget him after this precise moment. Yes, what you are seeing right now is absolutely true. 1000 builds in 32 years. Two incredible numbers which we can only applaud. And to commemorate them, Marcus decided to build a unique and very special project. And why did he choose a BMW R100? Because currently, the vast majority of their custom bikes are based on the BMW R series. But the donor motorcycle for this project was not chosen by chance. According to the serial number, it was manufactured around the same date when Walt's work motorcycles was established. As you may know, most custom BMWs from the R series follow a traditional cafe racer approach. For some, this traditionalism may sound like lack of originality. But the truth is, it is still an extremely successful formula that makes any R series look beautiful. No wonder Walt's work motorcycles created hundreds of them using this winning approach. But with this one, Marcus and his team were more ambitious. Personally, I think about 90% of all our series projects around the world keep the original fuel tank. And why? Because of its unique character. This means to fit a different fuel tank on this motorcycle and conquer a good-looking stance, is a real challenge. Personally, I think Marcus got it right with this one. I am sure you already noticed, that this fuel tank, came from a Honda CB750F1 from the 70s. But it had to be modified, to fit the BMW frame structure. In my opinion, this fuel tank, gives a completely new personality to the BMW. But this is not so easy as it may seem. If you pay attention, the inclination angle in which the tank was placed, and the lowered front suspension, are essential to make everything work. Notice how everything, follows the same sloping line, making the general stance more aggressive. Another very important modification, is surely the rear suspension. This is an item, 
developed specifically for this BMW version by a Dutch YSS suspension distributor. It has a custom-built YSS shock, and it works in a similar way to the very well-known suspension kit developed for the K-Series by the Brazilian Lorenzo brothers. According to Marcus, this is the world's first R-Series using this suspension kit. Therefore, this very special project could only be the perfect occasion to a world premiere. I have to point out, there are a lot of modifications which are not detected at first glance. And here are a few of them. All the key structural welds of the frame were re-welded to make it stiffer and stronger. The engine was completely rebuilt, including a lot of upgrades to increase power. The original front forks were lowered 5 cm, having new progressive springs inside. The tires are tubeless, thanks to these beautiful and modern 18-inch spoked wheels. Curiously, the beautiful mini fairing is a Harley Davidson item, although with some modifications. This list is obviously way more extensive. But the end result is not only a beautiful machine, but also very interesting numbers. 85 horsepower and 168 kilograms. Definitely very respectful numbers, which makes the power to weight ratio very near to a BMW R9T. This means that these tires are only for the aesthetics. Speaking of it, although this bike looks really very beautiful, I found that the side profile may not please everyone. Maybe I'm being too picky on this point. But I think this gap here can be the only disadvantage of not using the original and taller fuel tank. Therefore, I made some adjustments on Photoshop just to see how it would look like. It may hide part of the gap but it also makes the bike apparently heavier. I am sure you are also wondering, what is this beautiful Porsche 911 doing, right next to the BMW? Believe it or not, Walt's work, builds custom Porsches too. That is why this BMW, had to have some Porsche details. If you want to know everything about it, I recommend you see Walt's works video on YouTube. But here is an interesting question. If Walt's work already made 1000 custom bikes in 32 years, how the hell do they know this one is exactly the number 1000? Well, Walt's work is registered as a motorcycle manufacturer in Germany. Which means they have to record every single bike they build. I can only congratulate Marcus and his team for this incredible achievement. And also for turning this astonishing BMW into a really very desirable machine. But I think Marcus already knows that desirability factor. Because instead of one, they are going to build a limited edition of 32 units. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.